not a vlogger, you guys. I'm just used to showing you stuff I see at the thrift stores. So this is very, very new to me, but I wanted to take you on my little journey on how I decorate mostly my living room for Christmas. So if I flip the camera, this is all the Christmas stuff that I have in my basement. And actually the first step is literally gonna be me decluttering this. I always have some kids' toys lying around. I've now taken everything out of the boxes to see what I'll keep and what I will probably very likely sell. Except those ornaments, I'm just gonna show you some of them really quick. So those are vintage Czech glass ornaments and they're beautiful, but I have used them for the past seven or eight years, every single year. And I'm kind of in the need of something new. I have now sorted all of the stuff that I'm gonna keep and that I'm not gonna keep because this is definitely also a little bit of a decluttering. So this is everything like this that I'm not gonna keep. So these are all traditional East German wood, like handmade figurines for Christmas. And the ones I'm not gonna keep are the ones that first of all, don't have a real personal meaning to me anymore. And that don't really remind me of Christmas like this grandma and grandpa sitting on a bench. They are for Christmas. So you can take this grandpa off and then you can put a little, um, cone uh incense cone here and then i don't know smoke out of his mouth and then also i have a nativity scene here but i'd rather have one in the future that is just plain wood and that doesn't have so many colors so i'm also um not going to keep that so i'm going to sell all of this and this also like his little arm fell off i'm so sad but i can just glue it back on it happens quite a lot with those wood figurines so it's not a big deal my dad glued stuff back on every single year these are very east german everybody has them on their windowsill but i haven't put these up in years and this is an angel and a little um a minor an ore minor and they always belong together in a pair so these are the ones i'm not gonna keep and also I might also um, sell these, this set, and this is a very famous torch, and this just literally fell off, and I think it's just because of age, so I'll also have to pull this back on. This is a church that's an octagon, and that church actually really exists, and I've been there. Yes, this is all the stuff I'm gonna keep really quickly. This in German is something um, you would call a Schwibbogen, so that is kind of a light bow. Also this one, it's, um, a pyramid if you call it and with the candles when you light it, it starts turning and spinning it's really nice and it is very neutrally colored this guy also lost his head which i have to pull back on thanks to my kids last year and this one i'm also going to keep because he's very christmasy and i like his colors this one also needs to be put back together i know this is going to be a diy video and this is a star for the window this is the same church that i showed you earlier also for the window and then i have this little star which it's gonna look like this i've never put it together so i'm gonna see whether this is gonna work out i'm literally drinking my tea now that i made this morning and it's completely cold but that's okay i'm also reflecting on the mess that is my living room right now with all the boxes and all the stuff yes high chair and everything on the table that I still have to take care of a lot. Like first I'm gonna take those leftover plants that are still here off and I'm gonna put some nice Christmas stuff up here. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. evening now and I haven't done a lot during the day because as soon as Bella my youngest woke up from her nap 
I really couldn't go on decorating and filming at the same time because it was just too noisy at home and I did a couple of things which I'm gonna show you now. It's not a lot, but just a little bit. I put this little thing here. This is all thrifted and I thrifted it a couple of years ago. This really cute wooden candle holder and then those Christmas balls, which they're plastic. So if Bella throws them on the floor, nothing will happen, which she actually did that right after I put them up. And so far, this still looks the same, so not really special. I put this here, so I'm gonna put this one, the um, light bow, the light arch, um, actually up there behind my um, candle and my Monstera. And those are all the ornaments that I'm gonna put up on the tree, which the tree is still in here, but I also have to do that. As you can see here, set up my Christmas tree. This is what it looks like right now. So you can see it's completely naked. So we're gonna decorate it. this tinsel on the tree that I have in this bag but it's silver and it clashes with the gold so I'm probably gonna make a run to the thrift store and get some other colors and some other stuff to put on there I very spontaneously decided to run to the thrift store because I saw a really nice Christmas tree base there but one and a half weeks ago I have no idea if it's still there or if it's not I'm probably gonna be heartbroken but I just needed to go and just check it out. So yeah, this apparently is also going to be a very quick thrift with me. little trip actually I got back yesterday I'm gonna make this very very quick because I don't have a lot of stuff and also because I have a terrible toothache and I have to go in for a root canal tomorrow which I've never had I'm slightly terrified and yeah firstly I got those three little uh, pyramid candles which I'm gonna use for my little ski hut which I showed in my last video and my thrift haul and then I also got some tinsel, this gold tinsel, and this actual real vintage gold tinsel, which is really, really cool. So you can kind of see the difference because I think, it, yeah, it looks different. It has this kind of wavy texture to it, which is really cool. And then I also, for 50 cents, got these ornaments, which are so cool. They kind of remind me of this very 60s, 70s, space age kind of thing. I'm not sure if that's how old they are, but they definitely still have the old German currency on them. So they definitely were made at least in the 90s, maybe probably even before that. And then I also got a bunch of these cans that kind of are sticking out because, yeah. That was my kid. She wants to really, really watch Manomana right now. I got these small candles as well for a little candle holder that I have. I think these were around a euro or something or 50 cents for the pack. And then what I also got was what I actually went for and I was so happy that was still there. At this vintage green made in West Germany tree stand. I tried to put our tree in there yesterday. It was an absolute disaster. The tree kept on falling over and 
it was not a hit and since I already have all the ornaments on there I was kind of scared that I would break it all so I decided to just put it in the basement oh this was six euros by the way to put it in the basement and to just get it out next year because right now I just cannot deal with that but yeah I'm still really happy that I got this because I don't see these a lot my tooth pain actually completely knocked me out for a couple of days so it's the following week that I'm gonna be finishing up my decor. I just have some little things I need to do, some little things I have to hang up, and then it's pretty much all finished.